nothing ever happened in my town. I often kept to myself in my own room, reading, drawing. But ever so often, I'd stare out my window. I'd be reminded of the green and blue skies that await through a single opening of a gate. Lured to it, I'd then flee out. The sun speckles on my skin, but it begins to burn. And it served as a hurtful reminder. But everything is so green here. But it isn't everywhere. Alas, the skies are blue. Yet it is full of the gases that have been burning us up for centuries. Is it the end? Will things never be changed? Will we keep on losing more every day? I never thought I could feel so lost in my life over something that was unfathomable. The news cares to report over and over recordings, findings, and research. The planet will be unlivable soon, and that we solidified our fate. But everything is so green here, and the skies are full of clouds and blue. So I tell myself that there is still a chance, possibility, difference, change. For the things we've cherished, for the things we want to continue seeing, I see that the things around me are what I want in my future. I can forget the looming thoughts of college and finances, at least a second, because it is a fact that there won't be a place for those anymore if we have no more of a planet to stand on. So I see, say, and think for myself on this climate crisis that it may be burning up the world, that it may be flooding it bit by bit, that every passing day may be long. But decades are short. Of all that in mind, that even the smallest initiatives, like joining my school's environmental club, can inspire bigger ones. Like myself, climbing from a shy member to a wild upcycler. That any step I take, past the fear, will be better than none.